Hello greater YouTubers. This is the first ever video on YouTube history about the programming of a washing machine water level sensor. This is my first ever YouTube video. Please let me explain. What is a water level sensor? Water level sensor is used to measure amount of water inside a container. It is mostly used in water tanks, washing machines, etc. Today, we are going to discuss about the way of programming a water level sensor. In earlier days, mechanical switches were used which had lots of disadvantages like less durability and less accuracy. But in modern world, electronic methods are used. Let's discuss about the inside of a water level sensor. Inside of a water level sensor is simple. There are only two capacitors and one coil which are connected as shown in the figure. And there is a di diaphragm which is moving according to the pressure inside the water level sensor. Core of the above mentioned coil is attached to the Diaphragm. Usually water level sensors are having three pins, but there are two pins sensors as well. Both are similar, but latter does not have two capacitors which have to be connected externally. Okay friends, what should we know before programming a water level sensor? First, we should know the mechanism behind. Water level sensor is connected to a washing machine chamber with a rubber tube. When water comes into the washing chamber, pressure inside the above mentioned tube is increased. And as core of the coil, which is mentioned earlier slide, is attached to the diaphragm of the water level sensor. So the core is moving according to the pressure inside the water level sensor. Friends, basically what we should know is when pressure is changing inside the water level sensor inductance of the above mentioned coil is changing so if we can measure the inductance of the coil we know how much water inside easy as that easy way of measuring inductance is to connect the sensor to a oscillator circuit then we can measure the frequency of the oscillator circuit so later we can use that frequency to program it in the Arduino language so how to measure the frequency of the oscillator circuit this is the oscillator circuit I am going to use it is called Colpitts oscillator if you want to know more about this please follow the link given in the description we have to change that circuit a little so it is not necessary to give a negative supply to the circuit you will understand that in the future slides Okay, how to connect the above circuit to the water level sensor? It is connected as shown in the figure. Note the, that the coil and the capacitors are inside the sensor. Middle pin of the sensor is always connected to the ground supply. Other two pins are similar and can be connected either ways.
this is the two pin sensors connection method here is the con uh, pin configuration of the op pan i see i used you can refer the data sheet of this ic so the big question is how to measure the frequency as most of you are familiar with arduino i am going to use arduino pro mini for my project to calculate the frequency other arduino boards like uno nano leo and etc also be used in arduino pro mini fifth pin should always be used connect with frequency output of the oscillator here is the arduino program it is very simple here we have used the arduino library called free count before programming you have to get this library to your computer link is given in the description i have tested the circuit and this program several times and it works without a problem what this program does is measure the frequency and show in the serial monitor the value is usually around 20000 when water is empty when filling the water this value is decreasing your values may be slightly different for from this if you are interested make the circuit and test without a second thought because i have checked this several times let me know if you have any problem in the comment section okay this is what i did it shows the frequency in the serial monitor in my next video i will show you how to use this to make a universal washing machine driving circuit until then goodbye do not forget to subscribe and share my channel and help to produce more video like this thank you